Hi and welcome to Photoshop Tricks and Tips. Little tricks and tips that I think you might find interesting that only take a couple of minutes to do. Okay, so let's get started. My name's Ken Fisher and this is Live Link Training. Okay, today's little trick and tip is to find the exact center of a document, which quite often I want to do. And my preferred method here is to use a guide layout. Now the guides come from the rulers. Now you can see here that I've got no rulers active, but if I want the rulers, I can press Command and R or Control and R if you're on a PC. And that will bring me rulers back at the top. I've got one at the top and one at the side, and this is where the guides live. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to create a new guide layout. So I'm going to be view menu and I'm going to go down to new guide layout. And then I'm going to create a guide layout. Now this is a loads of columns layout. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a two column and a two row. Uh, I'm going to clear the gutter, get rid of that on both of them. And then for width, I'm going to say, let's say 50% and 50%. So I've now got a guide layout that shows me exactly where the middle of my document is. Okay, so I'm going to save this out as a custom layout. So I'll save it as a preset and I'll call it center of document. And I'll click save. And that's now saved as a preset. So I'll just click OK to that. And that's letting me do that. So if I now get rid of these guide layouts, and you can do that, you can hide the guide layouts because they're, they're always there um, with command and semicolon to get rid of them. Or you can bring them back with command and semicolon. OK. And then let's go to another image. Now, if I want to find the dead center of this document, I'm just going up to my view, down to guide, new guide layout, and it brings up the center of document one as a, uh, a preset. But if you didn't, it's in the middle there already for you. And there we have the exact center of any document by using view and new guide layout and creating a preset. Now for the majority of the time, I just leave this as my default preset. So basically I can use the, the keyboard shortcut of command and semicolon or control and semicolon if you're on a Windows machine and I can turn it off and then whichever image I come to it's just as quick as that command and semicolon and I've got the dead center of my document. Well that's it for this trick and tip. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment under the video in the more area. And please, if you get a minute, click that subscribe button and help me to grow my Photoshop learning community. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.